Today I'm gonna talk about how I took this old deteriorating 20 year old hood and renovated it. Now it looks better than new and the lights light up the engine bay like daylight. Check it out. Hello friends, I'm John Caveman. The underside of my hood was really bothering me. It was just really tattered and old and showing its age. So I decided to get this ABS plastic hood insulation kit from lmctruck.com. I'll put a link down in the description and it has exceeded my expectations. It looks amazing. First step is to remove the old insulation. Usually held on by a few of these button fastener clips, they just pop right off. Mine had these three and none on the driver's side. My guess is that it originally did and they just fell off. I just pulled that off and then removed the factory light that wasn't working anymore in its cable. All right, so I got the old pad off and man, it is just gross. It's just all like brittle and crumbling and just tearing apart. But I mean, you know, it's old, it's 20 years old. So not super surprised, it's time for a new one, right? Originally, my plan was to do all this work with the hood still on the car, but I quickly realized that in order to do this correctly, I really need to take the hood off the Tahoe. It's definitely a lot more work, but it's worth it. So this kind of feels like one of those don't try this at home moments. So this is a 13 millimeter socket. Four down, two to go. It worked perfectly, I'm so happy. In case you didn't notice, this is an aftermarket hood. Um, it's probably very similar to a stock hood, but probably not exactly. So if you're doing this and you're wondering why your hood doesn't look exactly like this, it's not stock. So here's the package. It came with the hood insulation. So we've got these pieces that are pre-cut, pretty cool. We also have Wow, contact a piece of, I already have this, but all right. Um, aluminum tape, I have this too, but okay, cool. Oh, look, we've got some new little plugs. I was just mentioning that, pretty nice, it came with these. First thing instructions say we're to clean it. First thing I said was okie dokie. So here I'm just test fitting the insulation in the plastic, making sure everything fits right, seeing where everything goes. Every time I'm at Harbor Freight, I just wander up and down every single aisle, looking at everything in the entire store. Uh, and the other day, I just happened to run across this. I'm so happy that I did because these fasteners, uh, they fit this hood. Man, this is, um, I'm super happy to have this. So the goal here is to put a generous amount on both the hood and also the bottom side of the insulation and let them wait until they're both tacky before pressing them together. That's why I'm going ahead and spraying several parts of the hood, then turning back to my workbench while I spray the insulation pieces, give that glue time to set before pressing them on. So now I'm taking the aluminum tape that the kit came with, applying it around the edges of all the insulation pieces. It's nice and flexible so it contours into all the grooves and curves.
right, so the insulation is fully installed and taped. All right, ready to call it a day. Insulation is done. This is properly installed. Now what I want to do is go around these edges where you can see this aluminum tape, and I want to cut that back so you can't see it. And then I actually want to paint this. Obviously, this is going to have to come off again. And then I'm going to install LED lights. The Tahoe has been put to bed. So I wanted to properly test fit this cover all the way, which meant using all the fasteners to snap it in. But now that I have to remove it again, most of these fasteners are actually breaking as I pull them out, which is why I was so excited about that assorted fastener kit I mentioned earlier. I have plenty of replacements now. At this point, I started sanding down the edges and smoothing out the surface and preparing it for paint. I ended up using eight coats of Hyperdip, which is a new form of Plasti Dip. I filmed that whole process, but that's outside of the scope of this video. I'll have another video walking through that process soon. So next are these LEDs. I bought three of them and you can see that they're shipped in these packages all curled up, right? Like this, but it's just like this plastic. So I went ahead and took my heat gun and I straightened it out. That way it wouldn't be trying to lift off the surface of the hood. And also they came with these connectors and a fuse in line, but the fuse is on the negative, which isn't good. It should be on the positive. So I'm actually just gonna cut this off and do my own wiring. So these lights already have sticky backing. I hope it's uh, solid. I hope it, it holds tight. Don't really feel like redoing this with new sticky backing. I do have some, but I don't want to mess with it. Putting it up on this ridge here so that the light will shine in. Wow, that backing does seem to hold really well. Now I'm installing the driver's side the same way and then I'll start on the middle. All right, so my goal here is to make this piece conform to the edges. I'm not gonna take the backing off quite yet. I think this will be fine. I mean, it's just shaping it right now. I'll still have a little bit of flexibility in it. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and run the wiring, leave it taped like this. Then after the wiring is run, I'll come back, untape it, and apply the sticky backing. You can see here where I've done the wiring. I'm planning on grounding the ground to the hood right here at that little post. And then of course, I'll have two power cables coming off of the hood, one for the hood lights, which will be at attached to the hood switch, and then one to the TRX style lights on top of the hood, which will be connected to daylight ru daytime running lights. While I was in there, I installed three Ram TRX style clearance lights in the hood intake. As you can see, they are hella bright. I might actually have to do something to bring that down a little bit. I'm gonna make another video covering that. So all the wiring is done and this thing has been taped on here for a while. So let me pull this tape off and I'm hoping that it mostly retains its shape. That way it doesn't put a lot of pressure on the, the adhesive backing and try to pull off of the hood. Looks like it's doing okay. Yeah, see mostly retaining its shape. Just find the middle there. Right. 
probably won't want to take this one down once I stick it to the hood just to make sure that it doesn't end up raising in any spots. Try to get it centered. Okay, press it down. Okay, so the middle looks good. Go ahead and get that taped down just that way it doesn't rise up when I the ends and then get a couple of pieces of tape ready for the ends just in case where are we at I'm actually really happy with this with the way it's bending around this contour All right, there we go, it's taped. I think I'll go ahead and install the uh, plastic cover. All right, so here it is, basically the finished product. This yellow wire goes to the running lights that are now on the top of the hood in the intake. And this red wire goes to the underhood lights, which I will demonstrate right now by touching the terminal to this battery. So pretty cool. I'll get it on the Tahoe tomorrow. Oh yeah, I forgot I have to install this loom really fast. So I've got this rope set up here to, to pick up this hood. I mean, I can pick the hood up, but this will hold it so that I can get it back on the Tahoe pretty easily by myself. In theory, we'll see how that works. The hood is held on with six bolts, three on each side. Here I'm putting one bolt on each side very loosely just to pin the hood to the hinge. Since the hinges are fully extended, I have to back the Tahoe out of the garage in order to align the hood with the hinges. I need to find something to prop the hood open fully aligned with the hinges. Oh, that's not tall enough. There we go. good idea or not but there was already a, a hole right here and I just had to drill it out just a teeny bit not much at all in order to get my switch to fit through here like this so the idea here is that this is a master switch for the hood lights I also ordered a tilt switch which will automatically turn the lights on anytime I open the hood but I also want a master switch that will allow me to override that tilt switch let's say I need to leave the hood open for a long period of time and I don't want the lights to be on that whole time I want the ability to turn them off I ordered the tilt switch, but it's still on the way, so for now, I'll just use this master switch to control the lights, and I'll make a video of the install for the tilt switch once it arrives. Cleaned everything up with this wire loom and went ahead and ran the connections directly to the battery. 
that's not a permanent solution. I've got a billet battery connector that I'm about to use to clean up all of these connections, so I didn't want to spend extra time on that for now. I'll be working on that in the next couple of days, and I'll have a video of that coming soon too. The best way to support me and the channel is to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Many thanks and much love go out to the entire Lifted Tahoe fam, including Ray Baker in California. What's up, caveman? This is Ray from sunny Southern California. Loving your Tahoe build, buddy, but it'll never keep up with my razor. And Sean Phipps, who sent in this photo of his 2004 5.3. Looking good, brother. I'll include you in my next video. Just shoot me an email, shoutouts at johncaveman.com. Thanks for watching, friends. I'll see you soon.